Don't ever come visit Switzerland, you'll clearly be disappointed. Horrible sceneries, disgusting clear water lakes, terrible local food, shockingly unpolite locals. Maybe the only thing you'll enjoy is the fact that it's a cheap country. <laughs> Have you seen the latest advertisement from Swiss Tourism? Hey, Bob, how are you doing? Hey, Roger, how are you? Just relaxing in the Swiss Alps. Take a look. Of course, yeah. iconic Swiss Roger Federer is Listen, there, but also Swiss Robert Swiss De Niro, which is me? fun. Yeah. Roger is trying to convince you, Robert to play in a movie on our country. Like Seems what? to be a next episode coming up. You are, Roger. So, as summer holidays are coming quicker than expected and that you often ask about how it is to overland Switzerland, I want to provide you a quick glimpse of how much could cost a road trip in our beautiful country. But as every road trip is different according to one's desires, I'll only stick to the basics – driving, food and maybe camping costs. If you're on a budget, my tips to budget travel in Switzerland are to cut down on paying activities and don't go too often to the restaurant. If you aren't on a budget, go full in. Last year, we enjoyed a short summer road trip through our country and experienced it as tourists. Yes, even living in this country, we almost feel like going abroad when in the Swiss German or Swiss Italian part. If you like nature and enjoy simple outdoors activities such as hiking, swimming in a cold lake or being amazed by beautiful sceneries, then this country is for you. Just as they say in the Swiss tourism advertisement, when you need vacation without drama, visit Switzerland. Maybe with an exception for our cash flow. Might go lower quicker than expected. Okay, let's talk about the basic costs. The main cost when doing a road trip is obviously driving around the country. In Switzerland, to take the highway, it's one and unique cost of 40 Swiss francs per year, which is about 36 euros. You can get this sticker in post offices or many gas stations in Switzerland, but also in gas stations near Swiss borders. Next, gas or diesel costs. At this time, only the 95 gas is about 1.50 euros and diesel is about 1.60 euros. A second budget tip to save a little money, avoid to fill up your tank on the highway. Prices are very often higher. You can easily drive through Switzerland. There aren't any specific issues I could point out to be aware of, especially during summertime. Oh yes, respect speed limits. Fines are very high and depending on the region, there are speed raiders everywhere. Parking. If you're in the countryside, it's kind of easy, but if in the city, even a small one, it's a little more difficult if your vehicle is too high to go into indoors parking like ours. It's also a good idea to get this at the gas station for the free blue parking places. Next, food. I'm not going to lie to you, going to the restaurant is expensive. For a family of four and with only soft drinks and a coffee, it often costs more or less 120 Swiss francs. So that's about 110 euros. Same for coffees and cakes in the afternoon. It can go up to about 50 Swiss francs for four. This means about 45 euros. Migro and Co-op are the most well-known supermarkets in Switzerland, but there's also Denner, Vogel or Aldi. And if you want to go high-end, there's Manor or even Globus in the big cities. What example could I give you? Maybe a simple bread baguette is around two euros. A packet of pasta could be a little less than two euros. A nice uh, milk chocolate would be also around two euros, two euros fifty. And the most expensive, meat. Beef to grill starts at about 55 euros the kilo. Chicken breast will be about 30 euros the kilo. Sausages and grounded beef are a little cheaper. If you like meat and are on a budget, I would recommend to stock up in surrounding countries if you can, because the meat will be cheaper. But be aware that there's a max per person, so do check before coming in Switzerland. This is without talking about all the small local farm shops in which you can buy cheese or other food made locally. I highly recommend stopping and treat yourself with a nice local snack or bread and Swiss cheese picnic. When traveling through the country, we can feel the consequence of being divided by the languages. 
When in the Swiss Italian part, the food is more Mediterranean type with fresh salads and summery food. In the Swiss German part, it's closer to German type of food with bratwurst and schnitzels. And in the French part, it's kind of a mix. But what's similar to most mountain restaurants is cheese fondue, raclette or rush tea, for example, with dried meat as side plate. My favorite is tomato cheese fondue. Of course, there are various types of restaurants everywhere and this is a very general view. Now, where to stay overnight? We mainly free camp and haven't been on a campground for a while. Is it allowed to free camp in Switzerland? Yes, under certain conditions. To make it simple, it's allowed to free camp above the tree lines, high up in the mountains and also for emergency overnight stop. For the rest, you're supposed to have permission. With that said, I researched a little for campground prices and I found out that it starts at about 35 euros. But I do remember paying almost 80 Swiss francs for a campground place in Tessin years ago. If you plan to travel around Switzerland and camp on campgrounds, I would recommend to contact a few of them prior your road trip. Because of the actual situation, it seems that many people will stay around the country and enjoy outdoors time and camping too. I have no idea if it's better to book before, so I might want to give them a call before visiting Switzerland. Switzerland is a beautiful and nice country to visit. Yes, not as I said in the beginning. Sceneries can be breathtaking and I do think food is good. Yes, we're not going to lie to each other. Food is an important part of an enjoyable journey. If you plan to overland Switzerland with your four wheels drive, here's my advice. The first one is to be respectful of your environment. This means respectful of nature, but also of people who might be around you. Don't forget, it's a small country. The advantage of a road trip in Switzerland is that you can easily go according to the weather. Just download Meteo Suisse app and you'll have all the info needed to enjoy a sunny vacation. I cannot recommend a place to go rather than another because last summer road trip we went from west to east, north to south and every region was beautiful. There are many ways to enjoy Switzerland but I do think that the simplest is the best. Stop and take time to enjoy the moment. Wish you a great Swiss summer road trip. See you in the next one. Bye.